Good morning and welcome to SWB TV. Welcome to another episode of SWB News. It's a new term and we have a new high-tech virtual reality newsroom to bring you all the latest SWB news. Congratulations to all students who received their A-levels and GCSE results over the holidays. They were outstanding. You thought you smashed it? 86% of sixth formers achieved A star to D at A level and every single one of our students that applied for university gained first choice places. Well done. Our GCSE results showed progress that is above national average with 45% gaining 5 A star to C grades. SWB Academy is firmly, rapidly achieving its mission to be an outstanding school. Well done to all the staff and students that made this happen. We welcome our New Year 7s to SWB. We caught up with a few to see how they got on in their first week. Before we came to SWB, I thought it was going to be hard. When I came to SWB, I was really nervous about meeting new people and also if I would get lost. I thought I was going to get lost. I thought I was going to get lost. I like, got to know the environment really well quickly. You get to know the children and the teachers and the teachers are really kind. I really like it to be because it's a good school and you can do lots of fun things here. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. But now I'm here, I think it's a fantastic school. My favourite teacher is my the English teacher. I enjoyed it when we first played, like, t t two truths, one lie, and then we got to know all our, like, the people in our class, like, really well. Today's been a good day. Today we did our cat test. My favourite part was when we was learning about the Victorians. It was really interesting. Right now we're doing in English. We're, we're on the laptops and we're researching about Victorians. I really like the English classes. I've liked yeah. researching about Victorians because I knew a lot. I know a lot about the Victorians. My favourite subject is science because uh, we did a test and I think I did really well. The next week we're going to go in the labs and use equipment, so I'm really excited. Um, I've really been enjoying the classes that I've been doing and having the school to ourselves, or year seven to the school to ourselves when we die. It's amazing. You can't have failed to notice that our library has had a makeover. We're here in the new library and I think it's amazing. It's gotten bigger and there's more space for people to learn. It has new books and it's the remains. Science teachers have been busy recording tutorials that show you how to do numbers of experiments. Check them out on the science section of our eStream website, eStream.swbacademy.org.uk. Although all of our videos can be accessed from home, please don't try to do these at home. Over the holidays, sixth form students took part in National Citizenship Service, a government funded initiative supporting community engagement, social action and mixing. They took part in residential and community activities and presented ideas for a community project to a panel of professionals. Work has begun on the 2017 drama production of Little Shop of Horrors. Here the cast is assembled for their first script read-through. So I was just about to, you know, walk on by. If anyone is interested in being involved, please contact Mr Woodes in drama. After great demand, we ran a second social media treasure hunt in September. The prize of £50 in shopping vouchers was won by Year 8 student Demi Lee Wattis and Casey May Guy, who solved the puzzles very quickly to find the treasure's location and the key that unlocked it. Well done, girls! Our star student this month is Melanie Pittergross, who secured an A grade in GCSE Portuguese Estou bem, obrigado, e tu? and a B grade in science and all by the end of year 10. Fantastic results for a young lady who constantly works hard to exceed her potential. 
Hello and welcome to September's Sports Roundup. This year so far we've had a huge number of standing P for our extracurricular uh, sports programme. However, we still want to see many more of your faces. Make sure you come down to PE and have a look at the extracurricular timetable so you can familiarise yourself with all the different clubs we have going on. So first of all, we just want to say a massive congratulations to the Year 10 football team for winning the tournament at Wensfield High. And in addition to that, Year 8 had a fantastic result yesterday. They won 12-3 against the British Seek score. Year 7 also won 10 free against the British Seek School as well, so big well done to those two teams. Upcoming events that we have are the National Cup starting over the next few weeks for both boys and girls teams. We've also got the House Dodgeball competition starting a week commencing the 17th of October, so get yourselves down, sign yourself up for your house and let the games begin. Hello and welcome to the Safeguarding Broadcast at SWB Academy. This will be a regular feature for us now we are back at school in the busy autumn term and since we've come back this year we've been looking in form time about feelings and emotions and how to respect others. There are times when we do feel low and that is perfectly normal but when we feel low it affects how we think, feel, act and learn. What we've learnt in form time is that if we create a personal network of people around us, it helps us to feel safe and helps us to make our feelings feel more secure. So who could your personal network be? It could be a good member of staff that you know that you can go and talk to who you've built a good working relationship with over the years. It could be that you go to somebody from the safeguarding team, a friend that you know that you can rely on, family members, or use the RASP system to report a student problem, which you can access through the website. So what does it mean to be a great friend? One of the main things about being a good friend is the fact it is a real privilege that somebody has asked you to listen to them and to help support them. Because they know that you will not judge them, whatever they say, that you won't criticise them, you won't say mean things to them or to others and that you won't be hurtful or make them feel rejected and let them know that it is okay to talk to you. But also a good friend is somebody that if they say something to you that makes you doubt whether they are actually safe that you go and ask for help. I've got a personal network of friends and I'm very blessed to have that but I've also got something else that I use and that is my favourite tune. And my favourite tune that always makes me smile, no matter when it is, is Mr. Blue Sky ELO. You think about what your favourite go-to music tune could be. This year, I want to bring a safeguarding student group to the academy. And should any of you want to be part of that, please come and tell me. You'll find me on the Sanderson floor. Thank you for listening. Our star performer is Ethan Dunkley, who wowed audiences with his performance at the Year 9 Showcase. Here he is performing an exclusive routine for SWB TV. Hi, I'm Ethan Dunkley, I'm a street dancer. I love to dance and here I am today dancing as my passion and my hobby. I'm encouraging you lot out there who don't know how to dance, or well, you know how to dance, but you don't know how to shine your light. You've got this talent to show it off. Please don't hide yourself. I encourage you lot to dance, and I want to put a show together to show how dance can change the generation. I learned how to dance when I was really young, and the fact is, I just didn't know. I just didn't know how to show it off until I started going to clubs and started just showing off my light. And I just love it. So I persuade you lot, please just to come out and shine your light off the dance. And other talents out there, you don't need to hide yourself, you just you've got to show yourself to everyone and they will support you along the journey. Please, shine your light.